All right, guys, today I am out at another abandoned Fisher Foods in Canton, Ohio. Look at this. People always use these abandoned places as uh, dumping grounds. There's always trash. Like, a lot of times in the back or around the, uh, the trash areas, people will dump all kinds of stuff. Couches and chairs and just... The one place in Maslin that abandoned Charlie's Steakhouse or whatever it was by Kmart... I mean, somebody had just been dumping their trash there, you could tell, for months, maybe even a year. I think I got pictures of it in that video. But anyways, today we're over here at this uh, Fisher's Foods. I can see the lights are on inside still. Maybe we'll get a good shot, unless that's a reflection. No, that's lights inside. So uh, anyways, unlike the other video that I did on the Fisher's at Harrison, I just had like music and, and some shots, but... I'm just going to walk around this one and kind of show you stuff and talk to you. Because I know that uh, sometimes people like that instead of just the music. So let's take a look at this here. Here's the old sign. It, it's kind of amazing to me that they actually took the sign down. Because a lot of times these places will just leave the sign. Twenty four hour banking sign. That's kind of funny. Of course they still have an ATM up here. Here's the building. Where the big canopy was. That's completely torn down now. And I'm sure they did that right when they closed the store. But I bet you anything the uh, the ATM probably still works. That's probably why they left that twenty four hour banking thing up there. Yeah, it looks like the ATM is still functional. Big empty lot here. This is a huge lot. This location closed. Closest Fishers, 4403 Cleveland Avenue. Yeah, lights are on inside. Fisher's jacket's there. I'd love to have one of those. That'd be really cool. Can't see much through here, but just like with the other one, Sorry, lots of traffic. Yeah, it's pretty difficult to see through here. I mean, I can see looking in myself. It is spooky in there. It's amazing when these places close, how spooky it looks inside when it once was just a friendly place, music overhead, people talking and laughing, shopping. I wish you could see better in here. Let's take another look. There's a little bit better. So much stuff still left in there. That's kind of how it was at that uh, that alliance, the or the uh, the IGA and alliance that we went to. I can't think right offhand what it was called, but uh, but they had just tons of stuff left in there, the checkouts, and I mean it almost looked like it was just ready to be stocked up again, and that was it. And I don't mean any offense by this, but it's a little dirtier in there. <laughs> You know, I'm kind of OCD, I guess, with things. So, I mean, if I were closing down a business and walking away, I would just be inclined to clean it all up. You know, sweeping everything. 
We'll just walk around the building here for a minute. That's always awkward. <laughs> if you're gonna do YouTube videos, you gotta get used to talking to your camera out in public in front of people. Look at this. That's pretty cool. Looks like it's actually been sealed up for quite some time, but that has to have been some kind of a, well, maybe it was a pickup. Maybe could, maybe people could, uh, could order groceries and come pick them up there. If you know, let me know because that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Look at this. Somebody just totally discarded a hot tub. I told you, man, these places go abandoned. People just use them as their personal dumping grounds. This just cracks me up. <laughs> Look at this. TVs. That's too funny, man. That I've never found a hot tub before. I found just about everything else. But no, <laughs> and this thing's totally destroyed. Anyway. So here's the trash area. I always like to explore back here, the compactor. You never know when you're gonna find something that's like, you know, vintage or part of the sign or something. A lot of times when these places shut their doors, they start cleaning things out, they start digging around everywhere in the store and you never know what's gonna pop up. You know, just like when I was at the Kmart in Maslin, I found that uh, that potty chair, the Costco potty chair, and it was from, I don't know, the early 90s, if not the 80s, brand new in the box. They had no idea where it came from, no barcode that would work on it. <laughs> that just gets me. But, uh, but now my granddaughter uses it, <laughs> the potty chair, not the hot tub. And that's locked up tight. This thing, another discarded something or other. Just a box. Looks like a safe or something. I don't know what that is. Oh well, I don't want to go touching too much stuff. Not only is it still somebody else's property, but a lot of it's disgusting. There's another back door here for deliveries or something. Amazing to me how these places just fall apart when they're abandoned. They just fall apart because there's not a daily maintenance going on. And even like back here, God, look at all this trash that people just throw. Like it just comes from nowhere. And it stays here because there's nobody here to clean it up. Look at this. See what I mean? Dumping grounds. Go check out this loading dock over here and all the stuff that people dumped. Like, pay to have your trash picked up. Come on, man. It's not that much, especially in Canton. Like 60 bucks every two months. And that includes water, sewer, and trash. Bums. <laughs> <laughs> the wind just blew and this foam over here just crashed and scared the living hell out of me. I like these block windows. I'm not sure where these would have been from. That's some kind of a fixture from the store.
price tags. I want to go look at this foam stuff down here because it might be some kind of a sign from the store. It's all busted up, but let's go check it out. Yes, this is what being an explorer is all about. I thought maybe I saw a speaker in there or something. So let's check this out. Ugh, a bee. Eh, I don't know. Might have been part of the sign at one point, but it's nothing now. God, it's not even summer yet, and it's already a tack of the bees out here. <laughs> Man, you're such a nerd. Okay, coming around the other side here. Hey, windows. That's, uh, that's Fisher's Optical in there. I don't know how well you can see with the camera, but... See all the things on the wall there that held the, uh, the glasses. Huh, cool. Break time. Please, I love this. There's another one of these windows. Had to be some kind of a pickup window. Maybe a truck would back up here and deliver stuff. I don't know. Well, we're back, we're back around the front here. There's the canopy again. I love when I'm looking at stuff like this and there's something blowing in the wind like that. Especially when I'm putting together videos that are just music over top of abandoned buildings. I love to get the shots with that stuff blowing in the wind. It's just like it kind of shows the last bit of life that exists around the place. So there's one more look at the front. Let's get a wide shot from the uh, street here, and then we'll hit the road. That was a fun little exploration there. Huge store, man. I think there's two, three locations left, if I'm not mistaken. Cleveland Avenue, West Tusk, and there's one in Maslin. Although somebody told me recently that the one in Maslin closed down. I don't know if that's true or not. If it did, we'll find out. See you guys later. Peace.